Have you always wanted to finger pick the ukulele as a solo instrument, but aren't sure how to get started? By taking the right approach, I'm going to show you that learning to finger pick doesn't need to be off limits for beginners and how you can start in the next five minutes. My name is Brett and I'm from Ukulele Tricks, a website that helps you become a better ukulele player. In the last video, I taught you the essentials of finger picking technique and a super helpful planning exercise to get used to that feeling of plucking the strings with your fingers. I also introduced you to the 15 minute play to learn method and I explained why it's so powerful because I show you exactly how to practice and what to practice. In case you missed that video, definitely go back and watch it now because I covered a lot of important things and if you're serious about learning to finger pick, then I don't want you to miss it. For now, let's continue on our journey in this video. Today you're going to begin to find your voice finger picking the ukulele as a solo instrument by learning the arpeggio pattern needed to play your first solo. Let's get into it. All right, so for this pattern, we're going to use the finger picking technique I taught you in the last video, where you assign the thumb to pluck the C string, index finger to the E string, and middle finger to the bottom A string. For now, we're not going to worry about the top string. We'll save that for later. The pattern you're going to learn today is called an arpeggio pattern. An arpeggio pattern is a beautiful but simple pattern that plucks through the notes of a chord in a specific sequence. Some of the most intricate and interesting solo finger style pieces in the last couple centuries like that have been composed on classical guitar have actually been arpeggio pieces. So arpeggio patterns are a fantastic place to start. For this pattern, you're going to be counting out loud to a count of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and so on. On the first beat, pluck the C string with the thumb. On the second beat, pluck the E string with the index finger. On the third beat, pluck the bottom A string with the middle finger. Then on the fourth and final beat, pluck the E string again with the middle finger. This gives you an arpeggio pattern that is played slowly like so. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. As you begin to practice this pattern, I want you to just focus on the two T's, tone and tempo. For tone, this means you want to aim to make each pluck as even in volume as possible. And for tempo, aim to pluck each string evenly in time. So counting out loud really helps with making your tempo even, and you should definitely start slow at first. When you're more comfortable, you can work up to a normal tempo that would sound something kind of like this. One, two, three, four. This is feeling pretty good, but let's just go a little faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very nice work so far. Once you've practiced the pattern, take the pattern and now let's add in a chord change. And for this chord change, I think it sounds cool to kind of keep going with this moody minor sounding kind of vibe. So the first chord, which you've already been practicing, is an A minor chord. Because we're excluding the top G string, in this case, the A minor is just played on the bottom three open strings. So your A minor would typically look like this, but we're ignoring that top string. So the bottom three strings, just like that. From the A minor chord, let's switch to a D minor chord. Again, all we're focused on is the bottom three strings of a D minor chord, which is played by placing the middle finger on the second fret of the C string, index finger on the first fret of the E string, and let that bottom A string ring open. One, two, 
So D minor sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Now let's practice switching from an A minor chord to D minor chord every four measures. So this means we're gonna count to count of four, four times before changing to the next chord. Here's how that sounds. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. As you're comfortable, we can try increasing the tempo. Okay, excellent job so far. Here's how I want you to apply the 15 minute play to learn method. If you have just 15 minutes to practice today, I want you to take the first five minutes to warm up your hands and fingers by playing something familiar. So strum the chords of a familiar song or better yet, take the planning exercise I taught you in the last video to get that picking hand warmed up. Then in the next five minutes, practice the arpeggio pattern, repeating it over and over until it's smooth and steady. And then in the last five minutes of your session, practice that change from the A minor to D minor chord. By focusing your practice with this 15 minute play to learn method, you'll have a productive practice session that makes you a better ukulele player, as well as practice the most important thing to lead you towards your goal of becoming a better solo finger picker. Plus, you'll be ready to learn the solo piece I teach in the next video. This is where finger picking solo all begins. In my upcoming course, Finger Picking Tricks, you'll explore technique on a deeper level, as well as learn how to incorporate the top string. Additionally, I teach you specific exercises for making your picking faster, smoother, and steadier. And most importantly, I show you how to put all that together to play finger picking songs on ukulele. Stay on the lookout because in a few days, I'll release more information about it and I'll show you exactly what's included. And if that's something you're interested in, make sure you click the link under this video and put your name down on that early bird waitlist. Everyone on the early bird waitlist will get access to the registration link the night before the program opens up to the public. So again, make sure you put your name and email address on the early bird waitlist so I know you're interested. Just click the link below this video, enter your details and your spot will be reserved and you'll get early access to the program. In the meantime though, keep practicing this pattern until you can play it with your eyes closed. Because in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to take this pattern and play a melodic and rhythmic solo arpeggio piece on ukulele. I'll be showing you a trick you can use to creatively come up with your own solo pieces. This trick is one of my favorite secrets that I can't wait to share with you. So stay on the lookout because I think you're gonna love what I have in store for you next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in that next video.